Hi everyone, my name is Eliza and this is Eliza's Bookshelf. Today I want to unbox my first fairy loot. I'm so excited. I finally got off the wait list in November and so this is December's fairy loot box. Spoilers, if you haven't gotten your box already, I'm definitely going to go through everything in here. So don't watch if you haven't gotten yours and you want to be surprised. This is my first box and actually I was debating if I wanted to continue the subscription or not because it's pretty expensive. My first box I got with a coupon code so it was like 45 bucks including shipping. I live in the United States in California and so normally it would be $50 and so my January box is 50 bucks and so I was thinking about canceling all of my subscriptions and not having anything except for book of the month because that's relatively inexpensive. Um, but we'll see. I love special editions and I love just coming home to special bookish knickknacks and stuff like that. So we'll see. Let me just get my scissors over here. Okay. Let's open this baby. Okay, so first we have the spoiler card and it's so cute. I don't even remember what the theme is of the month. I generally don't read anything on their Instagram or their email, so I go into it very blindly. <laughs> and so this is the spoiler card. I don't know if I want to look at it just yet. I'll just look at all the items and refer back to this if I don't really know what it's from. And we have a book sleeve! Oh my gosh, I love this box already because book sleeves are my favorite bookish goods. I don't know what box I got before. It was either Fairy Loot or Fay Crate. I got like a special edition Throne of Glass box and it was, it came with a blanket and things like that. But this was a long time ago, like four or maybe four or five years ago. But they had a book sleeve too and it kind of reminds me of this one. You know, looking at this, I think I got that one from Fay Crate. Actually, I'm not sure. But this material is kind of like plasticky feel. Generally, I like my book sleeves to be more like soft, cotton, whatever. But I do like this because it comes with a zipper. Oh my gosh, I just love book sleeves so much. From first glance, I think this is Caravel. Yes, Stephanie Garber. So, so the front has a quote from Stephanie Garber's books, the Caravel series, I believe. It says, every person has the power to change their fate. If they are brave enough to fight for what they desire, more than anything. How cute! So Caraval is not really my favorite series. I actually like the spin-off more, the Once Upon a Broken Heart and then the one that recently came out, the second book. Oh, what is what was it called? I forgot. But I like that one the most out of all of her books and I'm definitely gonna pick up the third one in the series, but books leave, let's see. So I have a really huge book right here next to me, Muse of Nightmares. I'm reading it right now and it's so good. I'm really late to the Strange the Dreamer party, but we started reading it and I finally started reading the second one, the final one in the duology, and it's just so crazy. Sam, Daphne, if you guys are watching this, please read Muse of Nightmares too. It's so good. That is a pretty large um, hardcover and it fits with room to spare. So I don't know if I want to try putting in my Mistborn books because <laughs> I do have it right here. My room is a mess right now, so sorry, excuse me. But let me take this out and see if like the biggest Mistborn book fits in here. Actually, this might be the same size of as Muse of Nightmares, so I don't know what I'm doing with my life here. Okay. Oh my gosh, it fits! <laughs> so this is a pretty large um, book sleeve, which I really like, and I really appreciate this the zipper part too. <laughs> I don't know if I can get it out. I'm struggling. Okay. Zing. Okay, so that is item number one, book sleeve. Love this box so far. And I think it's pretty worth it because the book only subscription, I was talking to my coworker and I forgot how much she said it was, like less than $30, I think. And so if you think about it, it's only like $15 more to get all these goodies. I don't know, I'm just talking, trying to talk myself into keeping all of my subscriptions. Okay, what else? Um, so we have some bookmarks. 
and these are so pretty. They're like a matte feel. Okay, so the back of the bookmarks is just like the fairy loot, um, you know, their, their icon or whatever it's called. And then the front, I don't know what book this is from or what artist, but it's super pretty. And I love the feel of it. So nice. Okay, so I'll have to look this up. Let's see. And I'm trying not to get spoiled of the other things. Collectible Mythology Bookmarks. Art by Grace Hort. So that'll be on Instagram too because there's an at sign in front of it. These are the 7th and 8th bookmarks in our mythology collection and depict Aphrodite and Aries. Ah, so pretty. I wish I had the other ones. I love these bookmarks. The next thing I see are these tarot cards and... Maybe it is this book versus Fae Crate. There's a box that always does these tarot cards and they're nice to look at, but I just don't do, I don't do these readings and stuff, but this one you have the sun and then also you have the moon and these are so pretty. It's just, I don't collect them, so I don't have a full set. It would be nice if I did have a full set. So what is this from? I need to brush up on all my books. <laughs> All my YA fantasy books. This is the YA box, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that, but okay. Tarot cards of the month. The tarot card set features Lei as a sun card and Ren as a moon card. The characters are from Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nyan and were illustrated by the amazing ARZ28. So I've heard of that artist and I've seen them around um, Instagram as well, but I haven't read this book yet. I know Sam did read them and talked about it for a bit. I think, oh my gosh, I think I do have the books here somewhere. All right, I'm pretty sure I at least have the first book in this series, so I do want to start reading it so I can find out who these characters are, but they're so pretty. Okay, so next thing I see is this towel, and it's not like my favorite item for book boxes because I don't really use them. They're too pretty to use, and then they just sit there, but this is a towel, and I think it's Night Circus. Maybe the theme here is circus. <laughs> Um, but yes, you have this the circus and it says Le Cirque de Raves. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it seems like Night Circus, which Sam did also recently read and she said it was her favorite book of December. So let's see if I'm right. Face towel. Um, enjoy the souvenir from Le Cirque de Raves. Every patron deserves one of these. The face towel logo is inspired by the Night Circus by Erin Morgan. Sorry if I'm pronouncing her name wrong. Erin Morgenstern, designed by Blanca Design. I have seen Blanca Design design a lot of things. So yes, this is designed by her and it's Night Circus themed. Okay. Oh my gosh. Bookends! These are also my favorite things to get. This is quite possibly like the cutest book box ever. But these are bookends. It's also like circus themed. So I wonder if it is like Night Circus as well. Sorry if you can't hear me with all this clinking. It says here, Circus Bookends, produced for fairy loot, made in China. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah, I think I will stay subscribed to fairy loot. Just take all my money, please. But bookends and book sleeves are quite possibly my favorite things to get in book boxes ever. So this has both of them. And all of the like paper goodies have been really nice too. I think the only thing I don't like is the face towel because I generally don't use it and if I do use it, it'll get dirty really quickly. What do I do with this? I don't know. Um, okay, so let's see where this is from. Carousel bookends. Come one, come all. We hope you love your new metal bookends inspired by our theme of the month. All right, the book. I'm so excited. Did I look over everything on the spoiler card? Okay, so we have our face towel. We have our bookmarks. We have our bookends. We have the book sleeve, the tarot cards. Yes, okay, so going to the book, and it says it on the spoiler card too, I just don't want to read it because I want to be surprised. Let's see, okay. And from first glance, the sprayed edges or stenciled edges, I don't know what the difference are nowadays, but they look so pretty. Red roses with a black background, so cute. Okay, let me get this out without damaging the book. Oh, there's, there's more cards in here, or pamphlets. And another bookmark, a bookmark with the theme. So the, I guess, I don't know, is the theme come one, come all? Okay, and then we have a couple of papers and pamphlets here. An R, and it looks like, I think it is a letter from the author. Dear Fairy Loot readers, the book you hold is the product of 15 years of dreaming. It started with a single haunting image. 
that became chapter 29, but I wouldn't write the first draft for eight more years. Over many more years and drafts, I added pieces of everything I love. The wonder of stage magic, the seductive allure of vampires, the angst of love triangles, the high stakes of competitions, and the quiet comfort of finding family. I hope that by the end of this book, you'll love these things as much as I do. Ah, I'm so excited! Okay, so vampires, so it's like a vampire book, love triangles I don't really like, and so we'll see how well that is done, especially in like a YA book. I don't typically like it. Um, high stakes competitions, found family type of things. Sounds good. So that is the letter um, from the author and it's by Margie. I'm not sure. Um, and then this one I'll take a look at in a bit. So let's see. So pretty. So it's by Margie Fuston or Fustin and it is called Cruel Illusions, Win or Die. The perfect sinisterly magical escape um, blurbed Stephanie Garber. So I had I had like you know vibes from her when it's when I read the uh, author letter. So this is what the book cover looks like, and it's so pretty. Look at the red foiling on that. <gasps> so cute. And then the back says a deadly competition, a magical secret society, a chance for revenge. This book sounds so good already. And you guys already saw the edges. Ugh, I love it. I've heard a lot of people, okay, so I joined this Facebook group and I don't know if I should have because it's like just 24 seven updates on bookish drama. And I've been just reading it a lot instead of just reading, but I've been on that, you know, Facebook group and there's a lot of people complaining about fairy loot. So I was worried, but um, my book did come undamaged. It looks pretty good. And I don't know if it's because it came in an actual box. The people who I've seen have damaged books they're generally like book only and so the packaging was not that good. I don't know if it's because of that. I'm just making, you know, theories here. But my book came in really good condition, I think. So let's see if there's anything else special about this because I don't really know. I didn't read the spoilers or anything like that, but it is signed by the author. Let's see what, okay. Signed by the author here. So cute. And you have, what is it called? Like end pages designs. I forgot what it's called, but this is cute. So pretty. I don't know if the other side has it too. Yes, and it is different art. Sometimes books have like end pages designs and or artwork and it's like the same thing, but this is different. Okay, and let's see if the, the cover itself, like the naked cover is just red on the back here. And let's see the spine. The spine looks cute. Is there anything in the front? I'm not sure. I'll show you guys the front naked cover too. Aww. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Ah, okay, so my book didn't come damaged, but I feel like I'm damaging it right now. It's just flopping everywhere. Okay, look how cute that is. How pretty. I don't know if you can appreciate it on camera, but it's just so nice. All right, this is definitely worth my money. I'll just have to budget and every month I'm just gonna spend hundreds on these book boxes. So I really enjoyed this box. I haven't heard this book around like Bookstagram or anything. So if you guys have read it, just let me know what you've thought. I don't know what to expect other than love triangle, vampires and competitions, but so nice. All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like, just marveling at this book. Um, it is so pretty. One last look, look at that. So nice. Anyway, so that is my unboxing of my first fairy loot box ever. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with this boxes. I was subscribed to like other book boxes before that have since disappeared. I don't know if you guys remember what it was called, like shelf, shelf love crate. So I was subscribed to that box for like almost a year and I have a bunch, I had a bunch of their boxes. I just never could bring myself to throw them away. So I just collected them over time and eventually I threw them away. I don't know if you remember Shelf Love Crate, but they ended on a really bad note. Um, they just disappeared and took everyone's money and oh my gosh, it's so bad. But Fairy Loot seems very reputable. It's been around forever and I really loved my first, my first box. So this is December's box. Oh, actually, sorry. I didn't mean to wrap up everything, but Fairy Scoop, come one, come all. There's an author interview in here and um, talking about like exciting January releases. All right, so I'm not gonna go too much into that. Next month's theme, 
So January's theme is going to be called Hidden Worlds. So January Young Adult Monthly Box is Hidden Worlds. Have you ever wondered what secrets the world is hiding? Not really. It's time to uncover them. This box is dedicated to our favorite fictional worlds and the secrets within them. In this box, you can expect items from the Stardust Thief. Oh my gosh! Okay, I'm gonna be subscribed to this box forever. I love Stardust Thief and I actually, the reason why I actually subscribed to Fairy Loot in the in the first place is because after I read The Stardust Thief, I looked at like people's special editions and I saw Fairy Loot did a special edition for it. I don't know if it was like part of a box. Yeah, I think it was part of a box, but the edition had purple sprayed edges. I don't know. It was just so beautiful. I had to buy it off of someone online, but I was like, I am going to subscribe to Fairy Loot so I can get all these special pretty editions. Anyways, okay, so next box. Expect items from Stardust Thief, We Hunt the Flame, and um, our featured book of the month, and there will be fandom neutral items. We're thrilled to reveal that the fandom neutral item is the start of a new collectible, a secret hallowed out book? Interesting. Some of you might remember this very popular collectible from a few years ago. And so we're happy to be bringing back this item in a brand new series, all designed by the incredible Chatty Nora. So our featured book of the month is an epic fantasy series set in an Arabian-inspired land with secret spice magic. This very loot exclusive edition will have an exclusive cover, digital sprayed edge, artwork on the end papers by Merwold & Co., a reversible dust jacket by, by the same person, a design on the hardcover by Blanca Design, and foil details will be signed by the author. Oh my gosh, I love Fairy Loot. Okay, so yes, um, this is everything that I got in the box and also the book ends. I'm definitely gonna use this. My books are always falling apart everywhere. But yes, I hope you liked my unboxing, which definitely ran a little bit long because I'm rambling about other stuff, but I'm just so happy about this purchase. I hope you guys all get your boxes and get them in time and undamaged because I was really happy with this one. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.